I know Zach won't mind me saying this, um, but he had a he had a tough year seven. He had a he had a tough time through COVID. And he actually came into this school um, as our top ranked boy through aptitude. So there was a, a lot of pressure on him, and, you know, big boots to fill. It's safe to say that at the start of the year, um, he, he possibly, probably wasn't living up to expectations. Um, but he, he got on with it. Um, Cross country season a bit too early for him. Um, he, he made an impact in the basketball team. And then we get to the business end of, of the football, and the year eight's made uh, two football finals, the Borough and the South East Sussex Cup. Um, and Zach was the only person to be left out in, in terms of not getting on in, in the Borough Cup final. Um, and he was pretty upset about that, but we, we reflected and we had a chat, and we needed to, to restructure and rethink the tactics for the, for the Wednesday night game, because we sadly lost the final 3-2. And I remember having a conversation with him um, in one of the classrooms I was teaching, just after we finished the lesson. I said to him, be ready for Wednesday, because you're going to have a big impact here, and this is going to change. Your year's going to change after this. Um, lo and behold, sometimes in football, it's almost like the football gods are looking down on you, and it's like someone's written it, that was a Hollywood script. Um, he, he comes on at half-time, he was losing 1-0, despite the fact he was dominating the game. Uh, we've nicked a last-minute equaliser, he's, he's gone through to extra time. Uh, seven minutes into extra time, ball drops on the edge of the box, 25 yards out. He's come to Zach Norris and he takes a touch out of his feet and I'm suddenly thinking, go on, go on, eat it. And he's in his ball and he, you can just tell, as soon as he's left his boot, you know exactly where he's going. Postage stamp, he's going in the top left hand corner. And um, the pitch erupted and he's run across the pitch and, you know, I was happy for the boys. I was happy for us as staff to, to, to see that. But most importantly, I was, I was happy for Zach. Um, I was so happy for him. It's just, you know, I, I haven't been in teaching too long, I've coached for a long time. Um, that's my proudest moment so far. I was so, so proud of him. Um, and after that, I, was, I said to him, you know, well done, but I'm just going to make that for you. You're going to have a bigger better season now. You're going to come into your own. Um, and again, he was left out the first round for the Nationals. Um, but we had a, a hurdles lesson. He showed a little bit of promise. Um, and I said to him, I think you've got something there, maybe get to training. And you know, this is all on Zach. Because being the person that he is, um, he works so hard, he's hungry for, for his personal development. Um, and he attended every single hurdle session. And cut a long story short, um, he then made the regional team and then competed at the National Final. Um, for the school, and that's all down to his own hard work and his own desire to, to, to be better. Um, and then we was at the borough, at the borough final, and he had the quickest qualifying time in his team going into the final. And he was leading the race the whole way, and, and someone just picked him on the line. And I, from my angle, it looked like um, he looked like he'd won. And he came over to me in tears with a, with a silver medal around his neck. And when he spoke to me, he reminded me of myself when I was on the he went to me, I don't do silver me. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, fair play. We all want to win gold. Um, so I'm a bit nervous about giving him third place. <laughs> <laughs> um, but what I'll say, um, take this award with so much pride because you've come so far this year. So, so far. And bigger than sport is learning values and learning things that you can transfer into, into other walks of life. And resilience is, is a massive skill um, that, not, that not everyone has and that people struggle with. And you've shown this year that you can bounce back from a disappointment um, and that's going to stand you in good stead. And now you've grown, you're bigger than Mr. Bratton for sure now. <laughs> You'll probably be as tall as me next year, so I'm really excited to see what, what year might hold to you. Um, Please put your hands together. Please. Thank you. Okay, and then we move on to second place. Um, 